guys, welcome back and welcome to What's Brewing. We are talking about great revivalists today. Scott is in, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. People that have never been a great revivalist, tell them where it's at and uh, what you guys specialize sure, in. Sure, uh, we're located uh, just a little bit north of the Quad Cities up in Clinton, Iowa, and uh, we are in an old uh, church. So uh, it's built in 1890 and it's just absolutely breathtaking. We guys, you have to go back and check it out if you haven't. Dave Lavora and the Brood team went up and did a bunch of episodes up there. And, and Dave helped with the construction. <laughs> he, he was very, very important in the construction. Don't aspect. feel his ego. I cannot let him see this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut this. <laughs> oh, you brought in a whole bunch of beautiful cans for us today. It's kind of the changing of the seasons right now, especially for the drinks themselves. Sure. Uh, but you guys have some new cans that are available in grocery stores. Tell us about it. We do. We do. Uh, we're really excited. Um, um, right before Thanksgiving, we're going to be releasing four of our beers, of our everyday beers, into cans. And it's been a long time in, in the making. Uh, we currently have three different uh, beers that are available in cans. And so to have four more, it makes me really happy. Just in time for the holiday. Yes. Um, so we're going to have our, our, our Blue Balls Sour Ale, uh, which is a blueberry sour, um, a Sticky Kitty IPA, uh, recreational red and backroads brown, and just excited to have uh, have even more SKUs in the grocery store. If people take a close look at these cans right here. Not only will they notice all the beautiful colors, but they might notice some marijuana leaves. There, that's true. Um, you know, we had a lot of uh, people talk to us, and some people either can't imbibe on beer any longer, or just uh, choose not to, and so. Uh, taking um, the hemp-derived Delta 9 THC, and uh, we worked up a lot of neat beverages um, to, to spark that in, and it's been fantastic. So we started doing lemonade, so we've got uh, a classic, a pink, and a strawberry lemonade, and those went over really well, and pushed us down the road uh, even further to, we do a fruit punch, a tropical fruit punch, um, and then three uh, different uh, soda flavors, uh, apple, grape, and uh, orange cream. They've, they've done really well, so we're really excited. And if people go up to Great Revivalists, not only will you get to see this beautiful church setting that the brewery is, is set in, but soon, now or soon, you'll also have TVs to watch? Yes, uh, we, we've finally broken down, and uh, you know, with all of the, the it, it's football season, it, yeah. and all of the sports that are on, um, we just couldn't, we couldn't not do it. So um, we've converted uh, an area all in our, our, our whole basement has now been kind of converted. We have uh, installed TVs in there, so you know, whether it's Thursday night football, Monday night football, football weekend, um, mm -hmm. we now have a, a place for viewing, and um, it's also, um, we're doing a lot more events because the weather has changed and people are indoors now, so uh, there's even uh, Tuesday nights are comedy nights there that's going to start having comedians in. Uh, Wednesdays, they do live music there. Um, so I, I'm pretty excited. They're really, you know, as we're having to be inside now instead of outside, um, you know, we have some fun things to do. Well, Scott, my hat is off to you and the whole team. I mean, to only be open for as long as you have and to already have this many things going on, this many cans in stores. I mean, yeah, we're, awesome. we're very excited. Thank you. Thank you for stopping in today. Tell people what days you're open. We are open seven days a week. That's right. Up in Clinton, Iowa. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.